Knights, and they look to stampede against a surging South Carolina State team out of Orangeburg, coming in of winners five. Be able to run the football today. Very effective in doing so, 172 yards on the ground, but they elect to go through the air first, and the pass complete to Isaiah Williams. Williams looks over the defense, and off the snap, hands it off, Jared Hunter, and again, nowhere to go, land the boom right there is the defense from Coming over with head coach Chinnis Berry and the handoff to KZ Adams along that left side and not much room to run, but the way that Eric Phoenix has lower his shoulder, pick up more yards when needed. Here on second and 13, behind the chains on second down, and Phoenix finds that soft spot, an open man. The receiver is Justin Smith Brown and into Bison territory. Play. They hit you for an explosive play. Now on second 11, coming across is Caden High and High in that middle area of the field. <laughs> on third and a dozen, Eric Phoenix steps up, sees a pocket, and is wrapped up and brought FCS here. Two yards to pick up, and Phoenix, a design run the entire play, bounces on the outside, that extra effort, and he's going to pick up the... The RPO, and that's Keyshawn Tony. Keyshawn Tony. Let's see if they've corrected some of the problems up front. They can run into the end zone. KZ Adams with the cut and into the end zone. That's a score for a touchdown on the opening drive for South Carolina State. Adams, the extra point. It's up and it's through as South Carolina State has a 7-0 advantage history. Well, second possession for Jayshon Scroggins. He airs it out and has a man open, Nathaniel Clark. The this point, I thought that should have been more of a 60-40 ball rather than a 50-50. The cutbacks there from Jared Hunter net him four yards, six-yard line. Scroggins takes the low snap, picks it up, trailing back, and has a man open, and it's complete. That's Casey Hawthorne. Hawthorne at midfield. Play action across the middle, and that's big number 80 sprinting to the end zone, and Cyrus Wilson is tripped up just before. He Moving big 88, tight end Montreal Walker to the right to give him a little extra blocking. Tries to get to the outside, but swung down by Jaden Broughton. Broughton with the and goal here for Howard. Scroggins back in at quarterback, guns it into the end zone and is caught. That's Isaiah Williams for the touchdown. Boy, he has been such a bright spot this season. The score at seven apiece, and he is successful in doing so. Seven plays, 68 yards. The Adams, no room to run as Derrick Brown Jr. stopped him. Tackle for a loss of one. And if the Howard defensive line. Five rushes and just one yard total. But he also has that all important touchdown. Derrick Brown Jr. once more. Wright has a man that's complete to KZ Adams. And an Adams, effort. who is what an effort. forward. And good enough for the first down. Terrence Holland finally brings him down, but Casey Adams gets just a easy. Adams picks up six yards on the run. Well, Adams, what a story he is. See the offense. Miss. Phoenix still on his feet, but rushed <laughs> or pushed out of bounds there. What an effort there, though, by Eric Phoenix. You saw a soaring Carson Hinton. Moses throws that one out of bounds. Scroggins, though, over 1,000 passing yards on the season. And this was a game that Larry Scott told us, hey, I want to see how this young man progresses. It's a James, who had that nice little burst of speed brought down by linebacker Aaron Smith. Going to be a few yards short of the first down marker. And the punting Ben Phoenix trots near that first down marker as we come to the close of the opening period. A nine yard run and a seven seven. Tyler Smith, who was that big number 12, Xavier Robio. Well, he's one of the seniors honored before today on senior day. And here, making his Carter and Carter, another one of those speedy receivers.
for South Carolina State. Gain of 10, first down Bulldogs. Troy Douglas is a great defense. Miak a season ago. Trying to help bring him down in the ball, popping out late. But I think they're going to say it's South Carolina State football before the sticks, but it's going to be good for a first down. Eric Phoenix, who has that ability. Long run, six yard pickup for DeAndre Duhart. Right now, South Carolina State moving the ball down the field. Heavy run from Phoenix. Kenny Gallup Jr. once more on the stop. And maybe a yard short, so it's going to bring up third and one. You talked about the new pieces that it came over. Initial first burst and then pushed backwards by the Howard Bison defense. Don't celebrate too much because if it's still one yard. Howard once again showing that they have come up with it. It's going to be tough to see. We'll see. I think that's a fumble. They, they at least have to look at one of these. A nice juke move and a pickup of a first down from Casey Adams. A nine-yard gain. And it's a first down, but if you're Howard, you take that because we feel there to run up the seam was Eric Phoenix, and he picks up the first down gain of 10 yards on the run. But you always have to account for that just enough into Justin Smith Brown. Be close. Woo. They're going to call it fourth down, but what we said, it's four down territory for them. You know they're going to. He's short. Once again, the Howard defense holding Terrence Holland. Coming up with another critical play. Josh Carter in stride for the touchdown. 63 yards to the house. He says, I'm going to try it one more time. Third time was the charm. That's why I said on third and long, normally you feel pretty comfortable about your chances, but not against South Carolina State. And in seven, and we'll see how that impacts later down the line after that blocked PAT by the Bison. Oh, number 24, Quadre Harry. Boy, we've called his name a few times today, Jay. And you can see Jordan O'Daffer definitely pumped up after that, getting the ball right. Hinton making it tough. He's a he's a physical guy from Detroit. And he says, Detroit, what on that play? Coming up big. Another huge play and stop by Terrence Holland. Holland has been a dude so far today. Leveled on Jared Hunter by Jaden Jones. And that's going to be in the area of a targeting. They're going to look for targeting. Yeah. Was Washington in for the pick six. What a turn of events. Just like that. 47 yard return after the interception from Washington. So they are. <laughs> So South Carolina State up by two scores. Back-to-back -back turnovers now as Scroggins has to run out of bounds. It's going to bring up third down and about nine. Aaron Smith, no gain on the play. Indeed, he is. Did you see him walk down <laughs> the running back? Talk about NFL talent and the speed. And Mosley, the tight end, a good scramble and made something out of nothing there. After a 24 yard pickup, clock will stop just for a second while his spot on his feet is Braylon Smith. And Smith, who is clipped down timeout. at the 25 yard line, Howard does indeed spin another timeout and get him rolling. Back to back completions from wrestles him down. Pick up a seven. One of the things we knew that South Carolina State got frustrated in the first half about not being able to throw the ball, and they kind of forced them. You said, Jay, out of the slot, Carson Hinton brings him down, but after, not after that eight-yard pickup. So Caden High, a guy who is man miss, and KZ Adams showing off. A little flash there on that 23-yard run. Yeah, he's ball security has been important, and that's something that Chinnis Berry mentioned to us before the game, making sure you take care of the football. The four stars for the touchdown score. Well, he finds one of the NFL prospects on this squad, and Keyshawn Tony makes good on the receiving end. It's incredible to me. 
So just under three minutes taken off the clock. And South Carolina State getting the score. Yeah, I mean, you take a look there. Two Bulldog territory. Even if the numbers say you're outnumbered in the box, you have to force that run sometime. There as a South Carolina State, that's Josh Barker's helmet that came off along with a flag. Pick up a seven from James. Out of the backfield for the score. Through the air, 21 yards, touchdown, Howard. And I say the good job because I've been critical of uh, some of the decisions that Sprocket was making, uh, just like. Jay Walker, you call it, you see it. Hey, get the ball to the running backs in open field. Great job, great. KZ Adams on the carry. I'll tell you, Nick Tace, he's, he's a guy that, you know, had coaches worry just because Phoenix slides. So he's going to be about three yards short of the first down marker. Got to get to the 45-yard line. So it's going to bring the All-American safety coming up and reading that play to perfection. That's why he was number three on mine. Jay's give me five. Yeah, that was the that was the to, to pick up all that's needed and more a first down run of 14. I think that's why he forced the run. I mean, good runners are like good passers. You give me three passes, I'm gonna hit you. With the INT. Second interception of the ball game. What a play. And Miles tracking him down from behind. Noah Miles with the stop. After that pickup of two. Run from him is good enough for a first down. Sometimes this game is easy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Get the ball to your best player and make something happen. And that's what I miss. And Dollard again on the stop. Well, running the football has been a thing that you've talked about, Jay. And it was a matchup where we. That's Isaiah Williams. Williams, who had a touchdown back in the first half, pickup of 16. And saw that in for a first down. Takes advantage of that real estate and skirts out of bounds. Just around the 50 yard line. Seven yard pickup. And I think he was aided by a nice block in the process. Let's look. Lead on the outside to Casey Althorne. And Washington. He's been a playmaker in that secondary. The game get going again. Well, he's an offensive coordinator, to your point, at Southern University before he got the opportunity to be a head coach at Benedict. Also in stride and the completion. I'll tell you this, Eric Phoenix has put the ball on the map and not enough as he swung out of bounds by Hartley Jr. And I think that was good. Pre-snap read. Hey, if they give us anything short, take it. Field goal now does wonders for us. So much needed field goal to stretch out this lead for South Carolina State on the road. That's what's at stake. They know this season's riding on this. They'll come back and fight you. Is there going to be enough fight? Do they have enough time to show that fight? But I Man, and Mosley couldn't pull it in. You have to have this. This Canes, and what a stop by Diego Addison. You just called his name for the last play. And right there, forcing a turnover on downs. Carry on first down, tackled by Carson Hinton. Tyler Smith, third running back we've seen tonight. Junior out of gap. That's all, that's Kanan High. We talked about how special this young man is. Both of them, Phoenix yeah. and High. <laughs> Two player of the year candidates for Jay out of the MEAC. And Cricket Celebration Bowl in Atlanta. You see right there, he's going to throw it to Tony. No, why well, throw to Tony when I've got Caden High right behind him in the secondary? Remember Washington, rather, he had that pick six earlier and getting some love from the coaches on the sideline because he read that one well. Yeah, I mean, he's a good one. He's in the four minutes ago. You know what the score was? What was the score, Jay? Howard University 30, South Carolina State. Next week.
Yeah, I mean, and an all important game at Morgan State. They clinch next week. They win. Mosley is able to haul it in. Keontae Mosley with a great grab there, 31 yards. <laughs> Look at that. Nothing like when a backup quarterback comes in the game and can play. Intercepted. So the interception brought in by Jalen Levine. They tried to go deep again. This time. I'm, putting, I'm giving Southern that notice like I'm giving fam. Like, I'm, I'm giving you top five because you're winning but no style points. That's chance CFP uh, chances to make it. And then there was a particular member of our crew. He'll go nameless of assistant coach and to come here to a school you coach at as assistant and get a victory as a head coach. Congratulations, Coach Barry, but you just want to know, man. You only want to know. You got to have one more big one in a week for the Bulldogs. Tonight, the way the offense is flowing, they believe in something, and something special brewing down in Orangeburg. But what a battle it'll be next week as they go up to Morgan State to try and clinch.